what would you say if doctors were able to get you a kidney transplant fast, but you'd get hepatitis C? Most people at the beginning, they say no. They're, they're like, well, I don't want that. Dr. Alfredo Fabrega, director of Banner Health's transplant program, says now he's usually able to change their mind. About five years to wait for a kidney. And the mortality waiting on the waiting list is very high. He's created a kidney transplant program here at the hospital that offers patients the option of receiving a kidney with hepatitis C. He says not only are there now ways to treat the virus quickly, but the big difference? Almost no wait time for the transplant. The average time is less than two months. That's dramatically different. Yes, yes, very, very different. The hospital has already done seven hep C kidney transplants since last fall and says all of them have been successful. Some patients already cured of the virus just months after their surgery. But while these organs are saving lives, there is a dark side to why. Dr. Fabrega says in the past couple years, there's been quadruple the number of people in their 20s and 30s dying from the opioid epidemic, many who had hep C. He hopes now that they've found a way to use their young organs, it may help more than one person. There's some good for the families that you know have gone through this tragedy.